Hey, Ninja Warriors, welcome to Warrior Wednesday. Pause for a second because I wasn't sure if I went live or not. Hi, welcome to Warrior Wednesday. It's the first week of October, gang. We are in October. We're in fall, pumpkin spice latte season. I love pumpkin spice. Maybe you do. If you do, let me know. I'd love to connect with you on pumpkin spice. Um, so yeah, we're in the month of October, Libra season in the house. My rising is Libra. We like balance, harmony, unity, uh, collaboration. Uh, for all my Libras out there, happy birthday. For the, for the Libras that have passed and the upcoming Libras, happy upcoming birthday to my fellow Libras. So... Um, if you're on here live, say hey, say hello, give yourself some hearts, would love to see you, would love to experience you. And if you're catching the replay or when you catch the replay, comment with hashtag Encore and let me know what sign you're, you are because I'd love to connect with my peeps based on their signs. And if you're a client of mine, you know exactly what I do because I love connecting with peeps based on their signs. So it's so much fun. So, um, okay, so today we're talking about communication and uh, there's a very specific reason why I'm speaking into communication today and this is a part one of a two-part series so today is part one and communication is are you using your voice and how can you effectively communicate and what are some things that you can use some tools that you can use that can support you in being an effective communicator and what inspired me putting this together is several of my clients have been asking questions on like how to navigate specific uh, situations like sticky situations uncomfortable situations um, so are you a person that you know you you know we work with people like so are you a person who works with people first of all if you are a say yes uh, and if you do have you ever been in a situation where you were not sure how to handle it so you were like in a uh, conversation you're like I don't know how to where to go here or you were in a situation you're like I don't know what how to handle this that type of thing if that's you say I you're not alone uh, I've worked with thousands of people and you know communication is a skill that is developed over time some people are natural born communicators they're great they know how to communicate others it's a skill that they get to develop so I'm not sure where you're at on your spectrum and your journey uh, in terms of communication it is a skill that can be developed one thing I want to say about communication though is we have two ears and one mouth for a reason because we are meant to listen more than we speak and a lot of times a lot of the breakdown in communication happens because you're speaking more than you're listening and you're you want to prove a point versus actually taking a step back and wanting uh, and being in the energy of uh, connecting um, with uh, what is important for the other person and that's where a lot of the communication breakdowns come come from from my experience just saying if you can relate say yes okay I just want to connect with you all right so with that being said um, yes yeah, so we're, sp we're speaking into, com into communication so communication um, just w another thing I want to say is as human beings we're humans we're mammals right as human beings we were born with the ability to speak to articulate to communicate other mammals don't have that ability we do um, and we also have a voice and our voice is an instrument and you can use your voice as a uh, method to make a difference in other people's worlds or you you're using your voice to meet things with disaster or exasperate and make things worse. I mean, you, there's always an opportunity to do to do either one of those. So I know if you're here, you're here to make a difference and you're here to use your voice to make a difference. And that's why you're here and that's why you're tuning in. So communication, what is communication? So based on the dictionary, communication is the imparting, imparting or exchanging of information or news. So we're exchanging information. So even when you're communicating with another person, you are exchanging information. And we live in the information age. That's where we are right now. Uh, we were before that in the industrial age. We've transitioned into the information age. And we, uh, many people are in information overload, including myself. We all are uh, inundated with lots of data and lots of information. And we're funneling through what is relevant, right? So I want to also say that, uh, you know, in order, uh, my question for you actually is how, 
would things be different for you if you were an effective communicator? I'm curious. What would that mean to you? What would that look like for you? Um, you know, how, would it make a difference for you if you were an effective communicator? Say yes, um, so I can see you. And I want to also say that master communicators, master leaders are master communicators, and communication is enrollment. Like you're enrolling people in an idea. Your enrollment is another way of saying you're persuading them, but it's just a night. A, 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 I guess a fancier word. So you're enrolling them, you're getting people to buy in on what you're creating, they're enrolling you, etc. So it's always a conversation, it's a two-way street, right? So a couple of quick quotes here before I go into some ways for you to be effective is um, Plato said, wise men speak because they have something to say, fools because they have they have to say something. So don't be a fool that you want to say something. Be the person, be the wise person who has something actually to say, okay? So I'm not saying you're a fool, but I'm just saying don't be that, okay? Um, another quote by Mark, Mark Twain, he said, if you have nothing to say, say nothing, okay? Um, and it really is mind-boggling for me, the people that want to speak for the sake of speaking, um, just because they want to hear their voice. Uh, that never made sense to me. So um, here are some ways, and here's how I can support you here. Okay, so here are some ways for you to be an effective communicator. So one, start with the end in mind. What are you communicating? What are you looking to land with people? So start, have that vision of where you want to go. And they also want to be in, grounded in your intention. So what do you, what do you want to use your voice for? Um, and, and, and what's your intention behind it? Are you speaking because you want to uplift people? Do you want to inspire them? You want to empower them? Hey, Regina. Hey, Shannon. Thanks for tuning in. Um, do you want to enlighten them? You want to be direct with giving feedback? Um, you know, what's your intention? What is your intention of your communication? Number three is you also get to connect with your purpose. What is the purpose of your communication? What's your objective? What do you want to get? What do you want to give in the communication? Because, um, and a lot of instances, like you may have an objective of like, okay, I want someone to do something or I want to enroll them in to do something. So there's an objective behind it. So what is your purpose? You get to be super clear on that because that's how you're going to land your communication effectively. Uh, number four, you want to be present when you communicate. So you want to be someone who's present with the person, communicating with them, not being on the phone, uh, not being on your computer. That's actually one of my pet peeves is if I'm talking to someone and they're distracted, that actually pisses me off. Um, here's why I'm saying that is because I used to be that person. I used to do that to people and it really hurts. Um, not intentional, but you, you, you can just say, okay, with love. I'm, I'm saying it with love. I used to be that person. So I am, was guilty of it, but I'm very like when I'm communicating with my clients, when I'm communicating with someone, I'm very present with a person. I'm not distracted. I commit to being that, okay? I pra I've practiced to be that, okay? Uh, you also want to know your audience. Who are your audience? You don't want to be verbally vomiting on them, uh, not knowing where you're going. You want to know who they are. You want to land. Uh, you want to get a feel of who they are and, and land with them and make a difference for them. And then also notice when you withhold your communication. Hi, Yasin. Great to see you. Yasin. Whoa, whoa. Uh, awesome. So you also want to withhold when you withhold communication. So when you withhold it, it's like you want to say something, but you're not really saying it. So you're withholding it. So you're, uh, so you're avoiding something. So what are you avoiding? Avoiding, um, and what is it about? Like, what is it about that you're not um, willing to speak it? You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or articulate it, right? Um, and also, you get to ask yourself, is your ego getting in the way of you landing or speaking what's on your heart? Okay? So, team, I have a couple more minutes. So, here's your mission for this week. So, are you excited? Are you excited? Give me some hearts if you're excited. Okay? So, your mission for this week is, number one is... Um, what do you use your voice for? I would love for you to share. So what do you use your voice for? I would love to hear. Um, secondly, when do you, when do you typically withhold your communication? Like I want you to actually get connected to that. And then thirdly, practice not withholding your communication. So how that looks is you are going to practice with the person that you've been withholding communication from, you're actually going to speak from your heart and not withhold any communication from them and land your communication from your heart. That's your mission for this week. All right, team. Thanks so much for tuning in to Warrior Wednesday. Um, I'll see you, uh, you know, we'll, to, we'll come back to the same station, same time, same station next week, Warrior Wednesday, four o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Pacific. All right, loves. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. See you later.